An exclusive interview this morning as Fox 7 talks with the staff at the high school where Bakari Henderson graduated. The Austin man was killed last week in Greece during a fight. Jacqueline Sarkeesian has more on this heartbreaking story. Jacqueline. Amanda Bakari Henderson was killed last Friday after a fight broke outside of a bar in Greece. He had just graduated from the University of Arizona and was in Greece for a photo shoot. It's a huge, huge void and he will be missed because he was he was an incredible young man. Lisa Thomas knew Bakari Henderson very well. She was his admissions director and the mother of one of his close friends. Henderson graduated from Hyde Park School in 2013 and Thomas says he was the type of student that always knew what he wanted. The teen talked about starting his own clothing line after college, which she just learned he was doing that. He was in Greece working on a photo shoot to launch that new clothing line. Now this video shows the moments before Henderson was beaten to death last week. The footage shows a 22 year old being chased by a group of men and was killed. Thomas describes his death as a true tragedy and a huge loss. You know what's interesting is that um, in our yearbook we have a tradition that our families write a letter to their child and then each student um, kind of comes up with their own quote that they like to live their life by. And, um, Bakari's quote, I just was looking at it and I thought, um, and his quote was, if you don't live for something, you'll die for nothing. And it's so appropriate for who that boy was and what he stood for. He always had goals. He spoke his goals. He had ambition and a drive and a family that stood behind him. This weekend, family and friends will gather to remember his life. The wake is tomorrow night from 6 to 8 at the Greater Mount Zion Baptist Church here in Austin. The funeral will be held Saturday morning at 11 at the same church, and family are calling that funeral a celebration of his life. Now, nine men have been accused in his death. Five of them were in court yesterday. Four will face a judge today. Most of them were Serbian nationals. Back to you.